Yo, all right, so if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I like to come into the intro with something like maybe I have like a special item, maybe I'm drinking something, maybe I have a joke to tell, or maybe a meme. All right, so as you can see right here, you see that that says TNT. I have 40 pounds of TNT explosives ready to set it off on a bitch July uh, the 4th. So if you're in the Virginia area and uh, you hear about like some house explosions, then you know it was your golden boy. <laughs> nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> What's up, golden guys? This is Sagany Crush, aka the Gold King, and welcome back to some more E3 conversation. If you have not seen my last video where I was talking about the games from E3, at least my favorite games and what I believe are the best games that were announced at E3, and some people gave me some flack about that whole announce thing, like, what is the definition of announce, nigga? Hold on, I, I got it for you. I got it. Because if you don't know my last video, again, check it out if you haven't seen it. It was called The Best Game Announced at E3 2018. And a bunch of motherfucking niggas on Facebook or other platforms, maybe here on YouTube as well, was like, Kingdom Hearts was just announced 2018 or was announced 2013. The definition of announce, nigga, right here, I got it. Make a public and typically, typically formal declaration about a fact, occurrence, or intention. It does not say when something is first you know brought to somebody attention it doesn't say first or anything like that an announcement is bringing the attention of so therefore my video is a fucking announcement like they announced they announced games at e3 that's what the fuck it is dumbass niggas but what i have for you for this video i told you guys in the last video we're gonna i was gonna be talking about uh, again the best games that i think were announced at e3 yeah you see that word announced the second best game that i believe again personal opinion is jump force if you have not seen any gameplay or trailer of this game i got it for you right here it's probably on the screen as we speak this shit is fucking crazy all right so if you don't know jump force is a, uh, a mashup game collaboration game whatever you want to call it similar to smash brothers and similar to its predecessors because this isn't the first like jump type game this game features a bunch of anime characters such as goku uh, naruto luffy zoro sasuke uh just all of your favorites man hopefully it has some of the newer characters such as uh some characters from my hero academia or boko no hero whatever you want to call it i just started that anime honestly and i love it to death all might is my dude deku is my dude kachan is my dude and uh hopefully they have some favorites as well such as like saitama uh one punch man for you casual ass niggas out there but i think this game is gonna do it big like from what I'm seeing, like, I'm looking at the trailer right now on my own TV. Like, it looks complete. I mean, I'm not going to say it's completely different from the other games. Because, like I said, there's been jump games before. Back in the day on, like, the DS and, like, Japan or some shit, it was a game called Jump Superstars, Jump Ultimate Stars. I only know that because I used to do, like, spray videos on this channel, believe it or not. But, you know, those videos are gone old news. And after that, like, last year or maybe two years ago, the game came out for the PS3 slash PS4 called J-Stars. There we go, J-Stars. It was, it was a very interesting game, very similar to this, of course. I mean, it looked, it looked good, but I never had it. I never played it or anything like that. I probably should have given it a try, but this game looks like it just, like, took every you know every predecessor of its of its kind like all the the uh, jump superstar jump ultimate star j stars like it took all of that and like made the combat the aesthetics and like it looks like it's gonna have like some sort of plot as well so it just knocked it out the park man and the reason i believe this is the second best game that was announced at e3 again you see that word announced i could bring up the definition if you don't know what it means again but the reason i think it's the second best game because um i'm a little bit biased i'm a big anime fan huge anime fan dragon ball z and Dragon Ball, like, the series is my favorite anime. Naruto is my second favorite. Um, I'm a basic ass nigga. Like, I could see the potential of this game, like, being lit. Like, imagine, like, these online battles with these super realistic looking anime characters. Like, all of these aesthetics. Like, this game is flashy as shit. And I think that's what the gaming world needs right now. Like, we have all these technical fighters, all these, like, like, you know stiff ass like fighters like we need something flashy you know what i'm saying like we need something that's gonna be like oh shit like that nigga knocked you into a mountain bro like how you finna act and that's exactly what jump force brings to the table i know there's a lot of other games out there but this is my second favorite game that that um that was announced at e3 of course number one being kingdom hearts 3 for the obvious reason that kingdom hearts is my favorite game series if you didn't know and also because i've been waiting and everybody been waiting for over a decade for the third kingdom hearts installment so well yes i'm super super excited for this game jump force i can already imagine what teams because it looks like you can have uh teams of three in this game hopefully you'll have like some solo like uh duels as well you know what i'm saying 
uh, bring it back to like the Ten Tenkaichi days. But I already know my team. I want to know you guys, you guys team, uh, my team. Uh, if these characters, because some of my, some of the characters I'm gonna uh, say haven't been announced yet. I, I said announced in this video so many times because you know the teams that I have in mind. Of course, it's gonna be my favorite character Goku, uh, my second favorite character in anime Kakashi, and my third person is gonna be Saitama. Like I know Kakashi and Saitama hasn't been you know revealed yet, but you can only assume that Kakashi is gonna be in there because he's actually a very popular character from Naruto. And Saitama, you can only, like, it's, it's, like, if they don't put Saitama in this game, that's a huge fucking L. Another team that I also thought about, um, I, of course I could get a little bit more creative, but these are the top two teams I thought about running as, like, my main teams, again, if these characters are revealed as well, is Goku, uh, All Might, and Saitama. Like I said, I've been watching My Hero Academia, All Might, that's my dude, man, Detroit Smash, uh, Charlotte Smash, bro, All for One, I'm, I'm... I'm about it. I'm about it. So like I said, if you have any team, like dream teams that you have of your own about this game, Jump Force, definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know your teams and um, could your teams beat mine? That's that's the most important thing. Like, could your team beat mine? Like, think about that. Goku, uh, Kakashi, Satama. I, I know I know Kakashi might be the weak link there, but Kakashi got that mind. Like, he's, he's different from Goku and Satama. Like, he's not about them hands all the time. So that's why I think that team is like... Like, if you think about it, like, that team is actually quite deadly. Like, with Kakashi in the center, like, strategizing and, like, doing all of these tactics, who can really beat them, bro? Who? Like, name some teams. Name some teams. Give me some. But that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. If you did, definitely hit that thumbs up and definitely hit that subscribe button for more uh, E3 content, you know, trailers, like, any other anime games or video game content in general because i am bringing that content boy these past two videos have been different from the videos i've been posting uh as of late i've been posting kingdom Hearts stuff and then i realized like why am i just playing games like i have i have so much more to like give to youtube like i have so much more knowledge uh not to brag or anything but like in my bio i say i like i say it i state it if you see right here on the screen it says i have infinite knowledge no boost no tux no no cap no cap, I don't even wear a cap. So it only makes sense if I, like, I do like informational videos, like give my opinion on things as well, instead of just playing games all the time. So I think I might do videos like these a little bit more often, because honestly, I'm having fun doing it. Thumbs up, subscribe. We're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. Subscribe now, become a golden person, golden boy, golden girl, whatever your gender is. Join Planet Gold is the point. I've been Tiger Knee Crush, aka the Gold King. Stay gold.